Hi everyone, in the continuation of our previous interview question video, we are back with Sapient Data Analytic Associate interview. In this video, we will talk about the complete interview process of Sapient and what questions can come in your interview. So before this, here are some few details about Datamonk. In Datamonk, we help students to prepare different type of topic asking different type of domains. Now let's get back to our Sapient process. So to know more about the interview process, we connected with one of the person who got selected as Sapient Junior Data Analytic Associate in Delhi recently. So as you all know, the full name of the company is Publicis Sapient. It is a multinational consulting company. The profile offered by Sapient was Junior Data Analytic Associate. Location was Gurugram, India, and the experience criteria was one year and the above. The compensation offered for this role was one of the best in the industries. So in total, there was four rounds for the interview process. The first round was aptitude test consisting of quant verbal LRDI section with some basic caution and programming skills. The second round was a domain interview round on basics of machine learning, SQL and project mention in your resume. The third round was a technical interview round about case studies and statistics. And the last round was a hiring manager round about project and cultural fit. So we will look into each round in detail. So the first round was aptitude round held at Hitspool I platform with some basic programming questions. The duration for this round was 90 minutes and the round was divided into two parts. One was aptitude round and another was programming skill round. For the aptitude round, some of the questions were like, if two trains are moving toward each other at different speed, then what time they will collide? Or another question was like, how to divide six eggs into six people till one egg should left in the basket? And for the coding questions, there were some basic questions on loop and tree. One was to print the order of tree in pre-order and post-order. And another was to print the number 1000 to 10,000 without using loop and recursion. Basically, this round was to check your IQ skill and whether you can write code or not. After clearing round one, there was round two, which was the domain interview round. This round was about basic of statistic. In this round, there was also a brief discussion about the project mentioned in your resume. Like if you have mentioned regression model, then question were like, what is R square? What do you mean by adjusted R square? What are the formulas of R square? And what is the accuracy of the project? In statistic, they asked about some basic questions like what is an outlier or how do you define type one and type two error or explain different type of probability distributions. For this round, mode of interview was hangout and the difficulty level was in easy. This round was to check if you know about statistic and or how do you apply it to the machine learning. After clearing this round, there was another round, which was technical interview round. The third round mostly revolved around case studies and guesstimates. Duration for this round was around 60 minutes. The case study I remember was like, suppose there is a zoo with some variable on which zoo profit depends and one unique feature no other zoo has. So they asked a guesstimate to find out the number of people visiting the zoo on weekends in Delhi. So for this question, I solved this by assuming I knew daily population. The difficulty level for this round will be around medium. And the mode of interview was hangout. Basically, this round was to find out if you can analyze the problem or not. After clearing this, there was last round, which was hiring manager round. It was about your past experience and how well you fit in the new environment. The duration for this round was around one hour and the mode of interview was telephone call. In this round, some questions asked were like, why do you want to join Sapient? Or where do you see yourself in six years? Or tell me about your weaknesses. Like some pretty basic questions. There was one question different to this type. It was like, design a dataset with suitable variable to predict if customer would buy a product or not. The duration for the whole process was one week. And if you clear all the four rounds, you will receive your offer letter. 
that's all about the sapient interview if you want to know more about particular interview or want to understand what type of question asked in particular domain or in particular type of company then you can visit our website www.thedatamonk.com we also have a set of question bank or articles that will help you to ace any type of interviews thank you hope you like the video for more interview type of videos do like and share the video